Six easy tips to improve your snooker queue action today. My name is Willi Schulte Ebert and I am a BSA professional snooker coach. I use these tips throughout my career to improve my game and help me to win 42 titles in snooker and post circuit. Watch this video to the end if you want to get full value and transport your snooker game. Let's jump to it. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you tips how to have a good cue action and uh, things which you shouldn't do, all right? First thing, you have to stay behind the shot a few seconds. Make sure that you're on the line. So this is the first step. Second step, you have to put your cue on the line. That means first cue, then legs, and then chest to the cue. Not a, another way around, like other players do, they put in cue to the chest and the cue goes off the line. So you have to be on the line. Okay, you have to put your tip as close as possible to the cue ball, as close as possible. It's very important because you're gonna see the cue ball very well. So, it should be looking like this, okay? Not like like this, not like this, or this, like this, all right? Another thing, what common mistake which people are making, their bridge hand is too close or too far. What do I mean about that? Okay, with this bridge, kind of bridge length, you cannot have any power. You don't have any backswing. So it's quite difficult to make uh, good shots, power shots in me. When you have a long bridge like this, it's difficult to keep your cue on the line because the cue is more wobbling. So what kind of the bridge distance is the good for you? For the average player, the good distance is about 25 centimeters from the V line. What, about, what I mean about V is this, uh, this line, all right? Snooker Basics video course is a snooker training material to help you transform your snooker game and take to another level. Improve aiming, overall technique, cubo control, rest play, snooker escapes and make proper snookers. Interested? If yes, so don't wait and order a Snooker Basics video course today. So, so this is, should be about this, okay? Remember, your tip should be close as possible to the cue ball. This is how you measure the bridge. 25 centimeters. Okay. And this hand, to make sure that your timing is good. Should, uh, it's not a rule, but I am recommend for you like uh, about 90 degrees. 90 degrees. For some players, it could be a little bit more or a little bit less. It depends on the player. For the beginners, I recommend 90 degrees. Yeah. After the shot, your cue has to be uh, uh, hitting the chest. Not hard, but hitting the chest. Like this. You see? I finish my, my cue to the chest. It's very important because some players are finishing here or too much follow through here. Quick recap. Make sure you stand behind the shot. It will help you not only focus better, but put your body in the correct position as you do shot approach. The crucial thing to do if you want to be a decent snooker player. Cue first, body second. To put the cue on the strict aiming line, you should put cue first and body second, not another way around. Cue tip as close as possible to the cue ball. Better sighting, more follow through, better potting lots of amazing benefits optimal bridge hand distance from 25 to 28 centimeters if you have less than 25 centimeters of bridge hand distance you won't have enough backswing and cue power if you have more than 28 centimeters you will have difficulties with the straight cue delivery 90 degrees cueing arm angle perfect position to have enough follow through and right timing of course players are different. Anyway, the range should be between 88 to 93 degrees. 
contact point. It will help you to have consistent queue delivery, cubo control. Avoid stopping before contact point, chest or dropping elbow too much. If you find this video beneficial, smash the like button, share video with your snooker friends and if you are new, subscribe to our channel and hit notification bell if you want to become an excellent snooker player, right? Also, do not forget to leave your comments below the description box and let us know what do you think about this video, alright? Ok, enough watching, pick up your snooker cue and go practice. See ya!